Welcome to the NSIC Student Athlete Advisory Committee Spotlight. I am your host, Nick Corner, Assistant Commissioner for Media Relations with the NSIC. This fall, we'll spotlight an NSIC fall sports student athlete from each of our 16 institutions. And we are joined this week by Augustana's Nick Larson. Hello, Nick, and welcome to the Spotlight. Hi, thanks for having me. Um, I'm ready to get this interview going. All right. Uh, we start off every week with you telling us a little bit about yourself. All right, yeah. Um, I'm a sophomore from Omaha, Nebraska. I'm a physics major and computer science minor, so all those hard math classes and stuff. And uh, I run cross country and track here at Augie. Outstanding. Uh, you're also a member of the Student Athlete Advisory Committee. Tell us how you became involved in that and what initiatives you guys have for the fall. Yeah, so I became involved um, just because uh, our graduating uh, cross country member uh, picked me for the uh, role. And I thought it'd be a good leadership opportunity, so I decided to stick with it, and it seemed really interesting. So, yeah. Um, and then the initiative that we're currently doing um, is Here to Listen, which is uh, basically we uh, are selling wristbands in our, like, cafeteria-type area where most of the students are coming through, um, $5 each. And that's going towards a fundraiser called uh, the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Um, and, yeah, I, th I think it's something that's really important um, to not only raise awareness, but also help get research into mental illness. So with the wristbands, does, is that signify anything or is it just kind of for the fundraiser? Or what, what, what are the thought beyond the wristbands? Yeah, I'd say both, honestly. Um, uh, it's kind of also like coincides with the uh, green bandana project for me. Like if someone sees that someone has that wristband, they know like this is someone who I can talk to who will sit down and listen and understand. Um, but then also like fundraising, um, I think is really important because like these sort of places need money um, to help with research, with awareness, with all sorts of things like that. So yeah, I think, I think it's a mixture of both. Yeah, it's a great job by the Augie Sack down there just to uh, bring awareness, uh, raise some money and to help a, a cause like the National Alliance on Mental Illness. So great job by you guys down there. COVID has obviously affected everyone in different ways. Uh, how has it most affected you as a student athlete? Um, I, I think it's really made school a challenge, especially with the schedule that we have. Um, I don't know what's different between different schools, but here at Augie, we've just been going school with no break all the way up until Thanksgiving. And that's been really tough uh, mentally. It's, it's really draining. Um, and yeah, just like go, go, go all the time with no break has been really hard. Yeah, so with the cancellation of the fall championships, um, it would have been your first season competing um, as part of the Augustana cross country team. Um, but what are you doing with the team so far this fall? Yeah, so um, we're, we've been doing a lot of like uh, team time trials and squad meet sort of things. Um, I'm thankful that I play in a sport where we're able to compete like on our own, basically. Um, so yeah, we, we just got a new track this past year and we've been doing some time trials up there. And we've had some really good times come out of that. And it's been really exciting to be able to still get that competition feeling, even within our own team. Uh, with indoor starting up you know, after the first of the year and competition start, uh, is, when is the transition for you guys from outdoors to maybe indoors? Um, yeah, so actually yesterday was like our last time trial that we have planned for this season. Um, so we're probably going to take like a down week here take things easy and then start gearing up for indoor season here, like within a few weeks. Excellent. You grew up in Omaha, you said, um, what was it that drew you to Augustana and the city of Sioux Falls? Um, so I had an old teammate, um, who actually visited Augustana initially, like a few years ago. And he, uh, mentioned that it was a really nice place and kind of like put that in my head. And, uh, then my senior year of high school, I ran a race up here, the Augie Twilight, that was hosted by Augustana, obviously. And um, I was contacted by the assistant coach, Scott Tanis, afterwards. And then I took my visit, and things just all fell together, and I'm, I couldn't be happier. Excellent. So, obviously, doing great things at Augustana. What are some of the best attributes of competing in the NSIC from what you've seen so far and being part of NCAA Division II? Um, the NSIC in particular, I feel like is one of the more competitive conferences um, within like Division Two nationwide. Um, we have really, I feel like we have really good representation across the country and across different sports. Um, 
when it comes to like national competition. Um, and division two, I think is just really what fits for me. Uh, division one, like I, I, I know more than a few people that play in division one sports and they just seem like they have way too much on their plate for someone of our age and on top of school. Like, I just don't know if I could have done that. So um, division two is really just the perfect fit for me. Excellent. Um, before we get to rapid fire, any hidden talents or something people might not know about you? Honestly, I'm a pretty simple guy. I, I don't have much going for me outside of being able to, to suffer on the cross country course. Or something. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, we mentioned you're a sophomore, a redshirt freshman academic or uh, athletically. Um, you got a lot of um, school ahead of you and athletics. Um, you said physics major? Yep. What are your plans post Augustana? What's your uh, goal as you graduate? Yeah, um, right now I don't really have a set plan. Um, I want to go down some sort of engineering path, um, but I'm not quite sure beyond that what I want to do. Um, I think it'd be awesome to work with uh, like space sort of vehicles. I I'm a big sci-fi nerd, so okay. uh, yeah, that, that sort of path is kind of what I'm looking at right now, but nothing in particular. All right. Well, obviously you have some time to figure that out uh, over yeah. the next few years, but uh, sounds like big plans for you in the future. <laughs> um, are you ready for the rapid fire Q&A? I think I'm ready. All right. So uh, do you have any pre-race rituals? Uh, yeah, I usually go on a shakeout run about three to four hours before race. And then I have like a bagel or an English muffin with peanut butter um, about two and a half hours before the race. And that's about it. All right. Your most used social media app? Twitter. What's your dream profession? I would have to say professional athlete. I'd love to keep doing this for the rest of my life. Um, I don't know if it'll happen though. <laughs> All right, the the, uh, the moon lander, the moon rover, off to take a back seat to being a pro athlete, huh? If possible, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Um, who has influenced you most in your time at Augustana? I, I don't think I can say one person in particular, but I would just say all the teammates I've had. Um, they've really, like each person has brought something new to help shape me as a better person. And I'm thankful for that. Uh, your favorite class so far in college? Probably just physics. <laughs> uh, favorite TV show? Uh, the Expanse. The Expanse, is that sci-fi? Yeah, it's, a, it's some sci-fi show on Amazon Prime. All right, uh, your favorite student athlete advisory committee activity or initiative? Um, I honestly am a big fan of the Green Bandana Project just because I think mental health is so important and it's really important for uh, people to be able to know that they can talk to people. So, yeah, for sure. All right, your favorite movie? Uh, I'd have to say uh, Star Wars Episode Three, which uh, is Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith, all right, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are you watching The Mandalorian? I am, yeah. Yeah, great show. Um, yeah, I would yeah. highly recommend it to anyone. Uh, your best sport memory in which you were competing? Uh, honestly, I have to say yesterday during our last time trial, we did a 1500 meter race time trial and I was actually able to put together a really good, uh, race for once. It doesn't happen too often. And, uh, it was really awesome to get out there and actually compete on the track with like all my teammates. Cause that's not something that happens very often. So, yep. All right. And like we said, uh, only in your second full year at Augie, but, uh, what advice would you give yourself, um, prior to entering college? Um, if you could go back. Yeah, um, I definitely want to say, like, just use your time wisely. Um, I think I, I'm definitely someone who likes to sit around and watch TV and do stuff. But I think um, using my time, spending it with my teammates and uh, just building those relationships is a lot more important in the long run. So just use your time wisely and don't just sit around and play video games and stuff. <laughs> All right, like uh, start designing uh, the uh, next space shuttle or Mars yeah, rover. Yeah, do something useful. <laughs> there you go. All right, well, Nick, we appreciate you taking the time. Uh, that will wrap up this week's NSIC Student Athlete Advisory Committee Spotlight. I want to thank you for joining us, and we'll see you all next week.